hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this 3d logo design into this let's check the intro Decography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good day guys welcome back to decography design training i believe we're all doing fine today and happy weekend uh, right now i want to show you how you can make a very simple logo with your brand name using the texture with the help of your draw tools then we'll present such a logo such a logo on an amazing markup so kindly stick around and watch the end how we are going to achieve this everything is going to be done on our smartphone the first thing to do we go to our write up and we type let's say the brand name is a beastar as you can see so after typing the beastar then you select the very uh, unique font of your choice so take it very time i want to use the velour raw. we'll call it the velour raw font then i will increase the size exactly like this so after increasing the size i want it to be too bold like this so i will come here reduce to minus three then i will go to my stroke and add it six stroke so let's say six seven is too much six is okay sorry then i will change the color to white or change it to this then i will go to the color area change the color to this after choosing this then the next thing i'm going to do this is where the work started i will lock this after lock get it locked then i will go to uh, the shape area tap on this and go to shape then select this style after selecting the style then you will find where you want to position it then take it for instance after giving it the color i will come here come here then position it here very good so on position it here we can increase it a little bit if i feel but just let it be centered then after that i will lock it again i will now go to my draw tools if possible click on the zoom and zoom out for you to be able to have a control over it then tap on it again reduce your pencil to something like uh, let's say eight let's say eight so good your smoothness can be increased to 40 then you tap choose a white color so after choosing a white color the next thing you are going to do we have to draw so for instance i want to still zoom out a bit so that i can get it done very well so now i have it i will tap on it back so i will draw so you can see what i did very very simple so this is what i just did and i will adjust it right now <clears throat> so after having this i will just move a bit you see then move it down a bit very good and you can see everything is plumb so after achieving that the next thing i'm going to do i want to go to my texture area and give it a texture color so but this time around i will make sure that uh, the texture fall into one side so select this pattern or this or this then click ok then you have see the way then i'm going to change it by making it go like this change the position so good so i have this sorry so reposition well let me reduce so you need to be careful so that your hand will not be controlling so as it is now so we need to move it down a bit you can see tap on this here then you can move it in then you can see how smaller they are 
so now as it is right now the next thing we are going to do after making it this way i want to tap on it and make it come down a bit so now everything is actually cool so the next thing i'm going to do i'm still going to do something here to make it uh, more uh, 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 more okay so what i'm going to do next is to put some uh, right up so i'm coming here and i will have a change here so for instance i'm coming here and uh, i will delete the star i will just delete the b you can see so after deleting the b i will now move it back to where it's supposed to be which you can see I will move it to where it's supposed to be as you can see so tap on it and uh, I will readjust very well so readjust very good so after readjusting I will now come back here yeah, sorry so I will come back here then copy and type another B so this time around this B I'm going to make it a uh, big as you can see so it has to big like this and the be at the center so exactly like this or I will, I will just make it look exactly like this if possible you can even touch this area but I will make it a uh, boat I'll make it bold make it bold like this so if i will go to the stroke area i'll make it a bold like this too so that everything will actually plumb so as it is now i will increase the size so that i can make it a bold very well so now everything is actually but to be on silver side i can use my don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, uh, and the bell icon the it is. so now i will move it down small move it down you will see the reason why i'm doing that now so the space in between let me just adjust a little bit <laughs> let me adjust the space so now we have a vista and uh, it's not too let me look at it it's not too much and not too small so it should be like this so after that we can now go to the text area where we have a cakes and more we have a cakes we have a cakes then we space and more we have more okay so now we are going to position this here at this very bottom then we can increase 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 now We'll go i want to use an eventica we we'll call it a eventica font i think that will be okay here because somehow flat so we have an eventica so let's look at the eventica font so now this is it so let it be around here so now as it is i'm going to give it space eventica and more then i will reduce the size okay very good and everything when you look at it is actually plumb right good so now the next thing we are going to do is to just save and continue with our uh, 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 with our mock-up so we go to save then we have it save then you can see nobody this is very very unique yeah welcome back guys so right now let me show you how you can present the logo we made on our pc lab how we can present it using a very simple and unique markup in one click tap open from computer then locate where you have your mockup being saved for instance mine is on my uh on my drive so i've saved it uh, i've clicked it then you wait for it to load make sure you extract this mockup before you use and you will get it uh, uh directly so now after loading the next thing we are going to do is to find our layer you understand when the layer is not showing you can do something to make the layer show here you understand 
and what you are going to do we are not changing this the layer might not show you see the layer has already show after changing the effect now you can double tap after double tap hide the icon beside it and if your layer show you don't need to do that open and place then you click on file locate where you have your mock-up being saved for instance my i mean your design where we save it on that will be on the pixel app folder and this is it you tap the design we made and if you have any other design you can just bring it so for instance this is mine and you increase you just drag out like this zoom out so that it will be able to fit in as you can see it will be able to fit in so i move it to the right just because you will see the position of that mock-up now click on the file and tap open save with smart object so after tapping it tap on psd here once then you see the result you see single click you can see right so look at it so now let's save and fill it just click on file and click on export save as a png so after clicking on png then we click on saved download then let's access it and see so you can see the results look at it very straightforward very straightforward so uh thanks for watching i believe we'll learn something god bless you so now we can continue if you want to continue the editing we can continue the editing to uh retain this particular color the color you will use right from design we can retain it here now we can do that after I'll open this layer you can see the layer you can see this is the layer after I open the layer what you are going to do is that click on the layer then you have something of this nature as you can see we have something like this under the logo effect you know we have uh, like uh, let me let me close everything this is how it will look then you click on logo effect under the logo effect you see the first one you have a uh, gradient overlay just tap on it after hitting you see the result will just pop up and you can look at it now let's save and view it to see the result just see with png as we sure save download so let's view it so that you see the way we can retain the color look at it which one is the best this is the best thank for watching don't forget if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon the subscribe so that you can be notified whenever i update my channel with amazing tips like this thank for watching god bless you and our uh uh our graphic course video editing course both for smartphone user and pc user is available is ongoing you can register at the token price just a 50 percent off so that you learn the complete training about the graph if you really want to uh, uh have a mentor you want to have more uh, uh, uh tips about the graphic design I'm, I'm i i bet it with you and i promise you that i've gotten a lot of experience i make a lot of research which i want to uh, impart on people so if you can be part of the training uh trainees you are going to learn a lot of things and this is going to is going to help you a lot on your career as a graphic designer video editor image if you want to learn how to use your iphone to edit a picture professionally i offer a training on that web design nft fundamental of nft you can actually join and if it is all about digital marketing you can actually uh, uh join the training at a token price and within four weeks i bet it with you you are going to change in value thanks for watching once again God bless you.